family and friends. This is Beverly Black, and I am coming to you today with a French toast casserole. And you could make this overnight, leave it in the refrigerator, and bake it in the morning. Or when we when you prepare this, please let it sit in the refrigerator for for at least six to eight hours before you bake it. But I would like to welcome everybody here today and thank you for stopping by. This is a great recipe that you can put together overnight and uh, bake it in the morning with a little crunch topping. And it's all the spices are so good in, in this little French toast casserole. So stay tuned so you can learn how to do, how to make it. But if you're here for the first time, I want to say welcome and thank you for stopping by. And those who are family and friends, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I ask that everyone will please watch this video from the beginning to the end. It helped with the algorithm and it helps my channel to go grow with the views. Please leave a comment and share it out. I would appreciate it if you would share it out. But what we will need for this casserole today is you need one loaf of bread, thick bread like Texas toast, eight eggs, two cups of uh, half and half, a half a cup of milk, three tablespoons of sugar, one and one half teaspoons of vanilla, a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and a half a teaspoon of salt. That is the custard to go on your um, French toast. That's the, that's the good stuff about it, the, the custard. And you can put fruit on top of this. You can leave it in the refrigerator. I mean, you can freeze it and warm it up uh, later, and it will keep in a container for up to three months. And I will leave the, the, the uh, recipe in the description down below. But let your casserole cool completely, then cover with saran wrap or aluminum foil, whatever you want to use, and then put it in an airtight container and you can store it in the refrigerator for up to three to four days. So let's begin. Let's begin. First, we have our eight eggs. You will need eight eggs. So we're going, well, first of all, let's put the bread in, in the casserole. And I am using this bread today. This is Sarah Lee's. And we're going to line it up in the casserole dish. If I can get into it. Okay. You can use Texas toast or whatever type of bread you want to use, you can use that. Okay, I've lined up the bread and now we're gonna break open the eight eggs. two cups. I'm going to pour that in. Half a cup of milk. Three tablespoons of sugar. The nutmeg and the salt. Now a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. I dropped the lid. There is a teaspoon. Now where is the hay? I'm gonna put a little dab, dab more. 
more. Okay. Now we're going to whisk this all together. And then we're going to pour it. This is going to be the custard. But we want it to sit in the refrigerator. Overnight, you can do this at night before you're getting ready to go to bed for the next morning and have it ready. On about four hours, four to six hours whenever you make it. eight eggs are blended in with it. Okay. Now we're going to pour it in. And then I'm going to set it in the refrigerator and we'll be back to make the topping and to bake it after it has set up. The French bread, French toast casserole is out of the oven. Uh, I let it stay in a little bit too long, getting ready for church and then forgot about it, but that's all right, it's still good. So it got a little browner than what I wanted around the, the edges, but it's still all right. So this is an easy casserole that you can fix overnight and eat the next day. Fix the, uh, finish cooking up the next day and you can also freeze it and store it and warm it up when you want to. Thank you everyone for coming by today. Uh, remember that I love you but God loves you more. Why? Because you are his masterpiece. So everyone have a blessed and prosperous day. Bye bye. Heart's desire I'm growing into a fire